Number 1. Virginia Aquarium. This is for the boat ride only. Make sure to arrive early if you want a seat. Was there 30 minutes in advance and all seats were taken at least on the outside. The trip is a quick one. We went just beyond the fishing pier. Did see many dolphins. Volunteers on the boat provided great educational material. Number 2. Virginia Living Museum. We came with two of our grandchildren and enjoyed the visit very much. The downside is that it was so cold so we rushed our outdoor experience a bit. Loved seeing the animals and the kids loved the dinosaur area. Sad to see the snakes in such small areas and a few other creatures as well. Number 3. Virginia Zoo. This is a beautifully designed zoo with lots of landscaping along the trails trees, bushes, flowers, bamboo. Unfortunately, we visited around midday, when apparently a lot of the animals were inside their enclosures resting. There were still a lot of animals to see. Number 4. Luray Zoo. If I could rate this place at zero stars I most definitely would, because I was completely underwhelmed and disappointed. It had this urine odor as soon as you walked in the door, and the guy we talked to just seemed really off and weird. The enclosures were absolutely awful and some of the animals just looked so sick. Number 5. Fort Chiswell Animal Park. Cutest little hidden gem, stopped on our way to Severville, TN with our adult children and our grandchildren. The safari ride was a hit with the little ones, they so enjoyed the camel and all the animals who run up to the bus for treats. The staff is so knowledgeable and sweet as well as accommodating. Well worth the stop. Number 6. Creation Kingdom Zoo. What a wonderful way to kick off summer break for the kids. They had so much fun seeing all of the animals and feeding slash interacting with them. Staff was super friendly and informative. The app came in handy when navigating the park and viewing details of each animal. Definitely recommend for family fun. Number 7. Three Lakes Nature Center. We planned to see in the evening the Lewis Ginter Botanical Gardens holiday lights and wanted to spend the afternoon outdoors nearby. We saw this park on the map and were delighted. We walked around three lakes and some side trails, all were beautiful and well maintained. We also toured the small museum. Number 8. Roar Zufari. I have been going to this animal park for 30 plus years and love taking visitors there. We always get a kick out of the baby goats. Most recently, I signed up for the cheetah experience, and it was exceptional. Talk about close-up photos. The handlers were very knowledgeable about the animals, so it's always good to learn something new. Number 9. Mill Mountain Zoo. It may be the season or may be lack of funding but the zoo seems to be in a little disrepair. Yes, it's winter and maybe half of the animals were not in the exhibits but the employees do seem to care for the animals. The snack stand was closed. The turtle, bear, and palace cat were not in exhibits and the kids' playground was in a messy state. Number 10. Metro Richmond Zoo. We have lived in the area forever and just got around to going to the zoo. What a hidden gem. We were not expecting much, so we were so pleasantly surprised. There are so many animals of so many different types, all of which looked very clean, healthy, and well cared for. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.